Who's driving? No steering wheel and no pedals? What's the point of driving then? It's still pretty cool though. GM is asking the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration for permission to test self-driving vehicles without steering wheels by 2019. The fourth-generation Cruise AV has no steering wheel, no pedals, no manual controls, and no driver. The self-driving vehicle will be used for ride-hailing, not personal use. If granted approval, GM could deploy more test vehicles in cities across the U.S. Currently, only seven states allow testing of vehicles with no steering wheel or pedals. And on the plus side, in the future, no more fights with your Uber driver. Look, no hands. And uh, how would you like your pizza to be delivered? Ford and Domino's are launching a research trial using self-driving Ford cars to deliver pizzas to customers in Michigan. Ford Fusion Hybrid Autonomous Cars will be fitted with heat wave compartments that are designed to keep the pizzas warm en route. Random customers in Ann Arbor will be given the option to choose the self-driving pizza delivery. Customers can track their order through an app. They would then walk out to the parked car and retrieve the pizza from the compartment using a unique code. Domino's tested its Domino's robotic unit in Australia and New Zealand last year. The company announced earlier this year that the robots will be used to deliver pizzas to customers in Germany and the Netherlands. Self-driving bus launches and crashes two hours later. The driverless electric shuttle bus made a big bang in its debut in Vegas on Wednesday. Unfortunately, the bang came in the form of an accident after only two hours of being in service. The driverless shuttle is designed to communicate with traffic signals and share the road with other vehicles while stopping for pedestrians. It looks like the shuttle was minding its own business around 12.07 p.m. on Wednesday when it sensed a truck was attempting to back up, so it came to a stop. Problem is, the truck kept backing up until it gave the shuttle a little love tap. The truck driver ended up getting a ticket for illegal backing. In the end, damage was minor and neither of the drivers were hurt. How do Google's self-driving cars work? For years, self-driving vehicles were considered futuristic and a thing of fantasy. However, with multiple companies pouring resources and money into the development of this technology, it may soon become a reality. And with some cities like Singapore pumping money into the development of autonomous vehicles, this may be the beginning of the end for human drivers. So where exactly are we in terms of finally being able to actually use one? In a sense, autonomous cars are already a reality. Google's self-driving cars are fitted with a GPS receiving antenna, LiDAR remote sensing system, a video camera, and radars. Google's autonomous vehicles use GPS to match their position with customized Google Maps in order to select the best routes to take. Radars in the front and back of the car keep track of other vehicles on the road. The LiDAR sensor rotates 360 degrees and detects the distance between the car and surrounding objects. A video camera behind the car's front windshield is able to read road signs and traffic lights. This is not to say that the self-driving cars are ready for public use as there are still a few important wrinkles to smooth out. A current flaw with Google's cars is that they require the roads they're traveling on to be precisely mapped out. Otherwise, the vehicle is unsure of how to behave. These maps are extremely detailed digitalizations of the physical world, where things like even the height of every single curb is measured out. There are also issues with the car's algorithms. In mid-February, a Google self-driving car failed to slow and hit a public bus because it expected the bus to yield. According to Wired, Google's cars have driven more than 1.3 million miles since 2009. As of January, they've been involved in 17 crashes, all of which could be blamed on human error, an impressive record that was ruined by the Google car that crashed into a bus last month. Google driverless car pulled over for driving too slow. Police in Mountain View, California are still getting used to the idea of Google's self-driving vehicles. The models known as neighborhood electric vehicles are programmed to not exceed 25 miles per hour. So when one of them was holding up traffic on Thursday doing 24 in a 35 zone, an officer decided to pull the car over and ask some questions. Alexander Maluski snapped a photo of the traffic stop and posted it on Facebook. 
The officer didn't actually issue a ticket to the driverless car, and they both went along their merry way. According to Google, their autonomous cars have driven 1.2 million miles without getting a ticket. But other cars have rear-ended the relatively newfangled vehicles on several occasions. Chalk it up to human error.